Today we'll be going over how Lulog changed Asagi forever. So the story begins with Japan's elimination from the 2018 FIFA World Cup, which prompts the Japanese Football Union to start a program scouting high school players who will begin training in preparation for the 2022 Cup. Asagi Yoichi, a forward, receives an invitation to this program soon after his team loses the chance to go to nationals because he passed to his less skilled teammate who missed without trying to make the game-changing goal by himself. Their coach will be Igo Jinpachi, who intends to destroy Japanese loser football by introducing a radical new training regimen, isolate 300 young strikers in a prison-like institution called Blue Lock, and put them through rigorous training aimed at creating the world's greatest egotist striker. This environment was a huge factor in Asagi's upbringing to the player he is now. His personality has drastically changed throughout the start of the series up until now. In the beginning of the series, Asagi was an average player who his teammates respected and loved. In a critical moment to go to nationals, he passes to his teammate because his philosophy of soccer was that it's a sport played with 11 people. This decision to make that pass would go to haunt him as his teammate does not score the goal and they go on to lose that game. Asagi is expressionless as he hears his coach talk about being the best team in Japan. Asagi looks up to Noel Noah as his hero and wanted to become strong just like him. He always had goals of becoming the ace striker for Japan and even had the dream of winning the World Cup. He knows his play is average and he is an unknown guy to many. He looks back into himself to wonder if passing was the right decision to do instead of scoring for himself. His fate could have changed and he could have been going to the nationals instead to be on the main stage. His internal thought was that football could not be played with a one-for-all mentality and that one person cannot win on just their own. He screams in frustration because of his inability to not be able to win. He then gets invited to Blue Log and his mindset completely changes. He is introduced to Jinpachi Ego and he tells the Blue Log recruits how he strives to create a perfect striker. The Blue Log was built for this purpose alone. He lets them know that Japanese football is second rate and that they will never win the World Cup with that style of football they've been doing up until now. The organizational teamwork based function that Japanese has been doing is a detrimental factor to the reason why they cannot go anywhere. Isagi does not understand this guy who basically says teamwork is not beneficial. The best strikers in the world all have egos that define how they are winners at everything. Egoism is a thing that Japan lacks. The undying sense of self-importance and putting yourself over everything in order to win. Ego tells them that they need ego to win and Asagi does not get what he's saying because he has never heard this before. Ego then puts in perspective exactly what Asagi desires. The willpower and ego to score goals on your own without passing to your teammates in crucial moments. Be able to take the center of attention and have all of Japan's hopes riding on yourself. To become the hero everyone wants to see. The words of Jinpachi Ego are now resonating to Asagi. He had never heard such things before and his mind is boggling with different types of thoughts. In that moment, Asagi now realizes his fate could change within Blue Lock and he runs into the building first. The essence of Blue Lock is to create one true striker and will have to sacrifice 299 others in order to do that. During Blue Lock, Asagi goes through many major transitional periods where he changes his thoughts and adapts to situations in order to evolve. This thought process to go against the strong in order to be strong and crush everyone around you. To make everyone else a supporting character in your main actor story. The ideal striker for Blue Lock is one who decides what they do. A conductor, you could say, who controls everything in a game and someone who keeps attacking until the last second. Strikers carry everything on their back and go through their own courage and will do whatever it takes no matter what everyone else says. The feeling of victory was shoved into their brains now from just a game of tag in the beginning of the series. The constant growth of each player's ego was what made Blue Lock truly powerful. You had teammates all around you, but they are also not your teammates. It is a constant battlefield and war with each other to be the best. Asagi goes through transitional periods where he realizes he needs to change in order to become a striker that everyone approves of. He gets the feeling of crushing everyone's dreams around him and feels pleased to do so. This is the ego that stemmed from Blue Lock's program. He understands what victory is and how he wants to continue ascending. He meets great friends along the way as well that he can trust and who are also constantly proving to defeat him to become the number one striker as well. After defeating the under 20 Japan team, Asagi is now a poster child for Japanese football. He starts to have fans outside as on the cover of a newspaper. He starts to realize how much his life has changed and how he put these changes with the goals that he has created from the training of Blue Lock. A striker is someone who creates their own opportunities and makes their own luck. Asagi learns this many times throughout defeat and through victory as he adapts throughout every game. Asagi meets up with an old friend and he counts Asagi's goal as luck. Asagi could have explained how it wasn't, but decided to just be in his own head. His friend could not possibly understand the type of mental and physical endurance you needed to keep up with every other player in Blue Lock. It was a constant battle to overcome and outwork everyone and things like that don't just come from luck. Asagi thinks to himself and realizes that the world has not changed but he has. 
He understands that Japanese football still has the potential to go through major changes, but the outside world does not know that yet. He must put on a show and become the center of attention for everyone to truly see how far he's progressed to become the strongest striker. He tells himself that he might have been stained by Blue Lock, and this cool graphic is shown as his face is more subtle and cooled off, kind of like a Toshi Rin. He realizes he is stained because he cannot go by the world's standards in order to become the best. Blue Lock instilled a philosophy where you think about yourself and create goals by yourself and then find more ways to score goals created by yourself. Then it made you go through changes where your ego is what matters and being someone who passes first will never be able to take the credit for the strongest. Becoming an egoist is living life as you want. You make all the decisions in your life and stand up for your actions. Blue Lock changed to Soggy and he admits to that and how this is the person he has become because of Blue Lock. He looks back into all the things he had before Blue Lock, but he left behind a lot of it in order to become the person he is now. He has now understood what it means to win and how scoring is so pleasurable. Being able to change the world with your own hands is what Jinpachi Ego is looking for in Japan in order to take it to the top. He needs someone like Asagi who will likely be the main character and usher in a new way of Japanese football. Asagi now confirms his resolve and stating that he wants to live in Blue Lock. He's basically stating he wants to be constantly on survival mode, someone that can go through adversity and push through anyone, someone who keeps going on the battlefield and attacking relentlessly until their clock is over. He wants to continue to a path of improvement where he alone can stand as the main protagonist of the story and be the hero of Japan. This is the ideal striker that Blue Lock wanted to create and it's cool to see the journey leading up to where Asagi's character has developed because of the training of Blue Lock. Blue Lock is now currently in phase 2 and I think that is something that will further Asagi's character even more as he is now being coached by his idol, but we will see where the story progresses from there. Thank you guys for watching, please like, comment, subscribe for more videos and I will be back for more. Peace.